Hey y'all. So I gotta remember to look at the camera. So I just wanted to um talk to y'all a little bit. I usually do my live on Tuesday, but I didn't get a chance to do my live because I was um cleaning or selling one of our properties. So I was cleaning out my stuff. I was doing hair and their property saying goodbye to doing hair. So I was cleaning up my stuff and all that and it took a lot longer than initially would and what I thought. So I didn't do a time to talk Tuesday. But what I did want to do was talk a little bit about um, separation. Um, I know when I was going through my um, my journey, my journey to get closer to God, um, I started being separated from my friends and family and stuff. And it was one of those things like, you know, family, cause I had moved. So it wasn't such a, you know, I was kind of used to being a little separate, but my friends and stuff, people that I talk to every single day, um, you know, just talk, get advice, all kinds of stuff, confiding. Um, our relationships started to become distant. And, um, and I started to wonder like, well, why like did I do something like because sometimes like people just were like I don't know they were being short with me and I was like well did I do something to people and so I would ask like did I do something to you that I don't know like you know what's up or whatever but literally um a lot of my friends were going through their own thing like going through their own transitions and stuff like that so a lot of times I didn't really understand and um at one point I had got really lonely because I felt like I was like dang I don't really have you know feel like I really don't have any friends anymore because we're such on different paths I guess um that you know you just sometimes you feel a little lonely but what I didn't realize God was doing was just separating me from people so that I can confide in him so that I can lean on him so when I need advice I go to the Holy Spirit not my friends um, you know, when I need comfort, I go to the Holy Spirit, not my friends. When I, you know, everything that I needed, um, that I go to God and not my, um, and not my friends or, or family or anything like that. Um, he was trying to build a closer relationship with me. So sometimes it feels like, you know, you're lonely in this walk. You want people to understand. You want people to relate to what you're going through. And that's not everybody's job to relate to what you're going through. It's not your job to carry and everybody either. You know, we always hear that saying where it says, you know, everybody can't go with you where you're going. And that's true. Everybody can't come, you know, where God is trying to take you. Um, you know, some people are meant to be in your life for a season, a year, um, you know, a few years, a lifetime. Um, it just all depends. But I did notice one thing, um, God, what, what God wanted to do, because I didn't want to make any new friends, but God was putting me in the position to make new friends, um, new friends that, that, you know, we could encourage each other um, through the, the journey and things that we were going through that was able to help me, able to pray with me, to be able to strengthen me, be able to fight for me, um, you know, spiritually when I was weak. So he was creating and building those new re relationships. And I did like a tug of war with God because I was like, I don't really want any new friends. I don't want to make friends. I don't really trust females. I don't really want to do all that. But the Lord really had to um, renew my mind on those things, um, you know, really release like past hurts and things like that um, with old friends. Um, really for me to be able to uh, build new relationships with people he's called me to build relationships with. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you, you know, if you're going through a process where you just feel by yourself or God is really separating, just know that, you know, he always fills the, the void, you know, whether it be family, friends, he always replaces it with some, with, with other people that's going to uh, be able to rate those, relate to you in the season that you're into, but you really have to be open to, um, what God has for you it was one of them things where i was kind of like fighting for a long time you know oh it's a wasp oh sorry y'all uh, the wasp was just sitting right there uh it was one of them things where god had to uh you know really oh i gotta go in i'm sorry i cannot be out here with the wasp <laughs> um yes so it was one of the things god really had to um you know keep uh, I lost my train of thought, but I, I had to give it to God just at the end of the day. I had to give it to him 
and just allow him to keep, um, you know, doing a new thing in me and keep working on me and, you know, separating me from people that, uh, you know, I needed to separate from so that I could build a bigger relationship with him, a strong foundation with him. So sometimes it's going to hurt. Sometimes it's going to be lonely. Sometimes it's going to feel like you don't really have that many friends or anything like that. But God always replaces, um, you know, the friendships and the family. And some people just don't need to be in your life anyway. Some people, family, friends, just be bringing you down anyway. Talking about yourself bad behind your back. They don't have anything good for you. They're not bringing anything beneficial to your life. So especially if God is trying to remove those people, just let those people go. Um, we often will sit here and, 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 and try to blame ourselves. But literally, we just have to just allow God to do what he's doing um, with us. And that's, you know, just letting certain people fall off. And, you know, it hurts. But, you know that's just the way it is um reading the bible where jesus said he's come to to break up these relationships mother and daughter uh father and son came to get between the relationships so that he can be in the middle of the relationship so that you can lean turn to god and not the person or or, or look at god when you're going through things and not the person so as one thing the lord has called us to do is to be uh, set apart is for us to be in this world but not of the world and um and even so like uh you know when you get strong enough in your christian walk you know some of those friends might come back around and you'll be able to handle those relationships differently where you won't fall into temptation or go back to doing the things that you've got away uh from doing that you've got delivered from doing so um it just all depends on how god wants to work with you um, so yeah, I got separated from my friends for a little bit, but, um, they're still there and we still have love and all that stuff like that. No, it's not like it, how it used to be, but I'm not the same person that I used to be. I don't have the same likes and desires as I used to have, um, a few years ago. My, my, my walk is totally different before it was my own walk, my own path. And now it's literally the Lord's path. So, um, you know, only God understands why he does the things that he does with us and um you know my job is just to follow his lead and just follow what he's telling me and follow what um he's doing so just want to encourage you you know if you're feeling you know lonely left out begin to really lean on god getting your scriptures um you know don't have a tug of war with god when he's removing people out of your life just allow god to do what he's doing because he always replaces it um with with uh new family new friends even mates boyfriends girlfriends whatever the case is like don't fight god on on the people that he's trying to pull out of your life i remember um even when i wasn't in christ and i would have these boyfriends and i would be like lord you know what if this guy is not for me like remove him out of my life please and like two weeks later the dude would be gone <laughs> and i'd be like well dang that was quick and it might have been somebody that i was dealing with for like a year or something like that and i knew i wasn't supposed to be dealing with but i was too scared to ask god if this was for me you know keep it here and if it's not take it away so um the people would be out of here. Only person that had, did not go anywhere was my husband because I showed enough eggs when I first started talking to him. If he meant to be here, God, take him out. Move him out of my life. I said that a few times and he stayed where he was supposed to be. So um, I definitely knew that that one was different. But yeah, but if, if you ask God to change your life, you know, just be prepared that um, it's not going to look how you want it to look. It's not, I wanted, um, I wanted my purpose. I wanted, you know, lifestyle change. I knew it had to be more out there for me, um, but it was a total change. Um, I didn't expect none of this I, at all. Like, so, you know, it was one of those things, okay, you asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you. And when I give it to you, you can't fight with me um, for giving it to you because this is what you asked for. So um, we can't have, have things both, both ways. We have to do things his way and you do things your own way you know he says if you you uh a man has his um uh, what is the scripture um basically like plans away in his heart but it leads to destruction so we have our own plans you know but that that way leads to destruction so um we best just follow christ so um anyway that was it just wanted to talk to you about 
you know, being separate and being okay with being separate, separated from people, um, you know, and not feel guilty or anything like that. Um, it's okay, you know, allow God to keep doing what he's doing in you. Um, and, and like I said, sometimes as family, friends, um, whatever, you might not be as close as you used to do, to be, but at the end of the day, it says, fear the one who put you in, in heaven and in hell. So I'm going to, uh, you know, worry about my relationship with God or my relationship with, you know, people that he's trying to remove out of my life. That's, that's the most important relationship that you can have is with God, you know, following Christ. So that was it.